Hey guys, so um, this is my very first mermaid ever. The actual tutorial is focusing on doing um, hidden message pendants, and I'm using the thermal dust again for that. So I'm going to show that, but I wanted to mention that um, in the tutorial I put a frame around it and sunk it. Um, then I, I cooked it, but I decided after it was baking that I wanted to make a mermaid framing the um, the pendant instead. So um, if I put her on a jewelry it will probably be right here so she's kind of upright or to the side holding this. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I just wanted to let you know that this one is different than in the tutorial and I just spread the Fimo with a thermal dust in thin layers and cooked it instead of creating a frame around it. And then I don't have how I do the eyes at all in here. This is my first mermaid, so you're just going to see little tiny portions of her. But I wanted to show you I did some eyes um, as kind of a template to practice on. And um, I actually got this idea from Pink Sugar Cotton. And um, she has a tutorial I'm going to link in the description box below just showing different eyes. And I thought that was really cool. So... Um, here is my very first mermaid ever. And if you do want me to do an actual um, full tutorial of a mermaid sometime, um, I'll be happy to. Like I said, this is my very first one ever. And I'm pretty pleased with her, but um, I mean, there's a lot better out there. But if you guys do want a tutorial on um, some anything that I've done with her, let me know. Thanks, guys. Bye. I wanted to show you guys so marbling. I start by twisting it and I'm gonna not talk for a while here so I can fast forward the process of marbling here. At this point, I'm getting some really good color mixing, so I'm going to add my white. So from here, I'm going to stamp into the clay as best I can. And it says love. From here, I'm just using a little bit of acrylic paint, making sure that the acrylic, the white part gets down into the grooves. thing that we're going to do is sand it down so you get to read love. I wet it first in water so I just dip it in a little bit of water and then try to make sure that the tips of your fingers aren't touching and just your nails and you keep on sanding in circles and it will start rubbing it off of the raised surfaces and you will end up something like this. I went ahead and took some Fimo Deco Gel and put it in a shot glass and then I took some of the, um, this is Thermal um, Dust Teal Blue and I poured some in and mixed it all up. Let it sit for a while.
And then we'll go ahead and bake it. Thank you. 